السلام عليكم الله والله 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 الله والله 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 الله والله 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 الله والله 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 اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتهدى إليه ممر الليالي وطول الدوام اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتهدى إليه بمر الليالي وطول الدوام اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتهدى إليه ممر الليالي وطول الدوام دوام يا رسول الله دوام يا حبيب الله دوام يا من أرسله الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين O beloved Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we are loving you because you love us. We are respecting you because you are respect us. We are finding the hope with you because you are giving us the hope. Alhamdulillah, when Allah Almighty, He sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for Ummah, He sent Him as a hope. And his hope it will be until Qiyamah. Whatever the shaitan doing, whatever the shaitan people doing, whatever trap and trick, and whatever they plan to destroy the reputation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are not able to do anything. Because he is a sun. What the cloud can take from the sun? Nothing. Only give shadow. But the shadow will not be forever. The sun is all the time is there. Allah Almighty, He make Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam shining sun. Shining sun, nobody can resist in front of shining sun. Everything, it should be melt in front of shining sun. These people, they try to stop the sun in the middle of the desert. And in the middle of the desert, you're trying to take the sun away from you. No, the sun will be finish everything and deserve everything. <clears throat> Nothing will left. If somebody is stuck in the desert, in the middle of the desert, and he have to walk, maybe 30 kilometer, not 100 kilometer, he will be not able to finish that 30 kilometer. It will be finished. And we are looking for the sun that give life, because at the same time, this sun will give life. If there is no sun, there will be no green, there will be no water, there will be no nature, beautiful nature. There will be no nice day. You have to go for the 
side of the beauty of the sun. Don't go for the anger side of the sun. Now they have some kind of issues in England. This, the <laughs> helper of shaitan, they are the one trying to satisfy shaitan. The one they are trying to be make shaitan please with them. And they are trying to say, oh, we are better than you, Ya Rasulallah. Astaghfirullah. Hasha. We are more knowledgeable than you, Ya Rasulallah. Never happen. We are more civilization than you, Ya Rasulallah. It be not even reached there. And they are making as civilization or the, whatever they call it or their modernization or whatever they call it and they try to make Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam with his companion down but never happen don't worry don't worry because nobody can take anything from the sun you're only making some shadow but the shadow will not be forever even you put building, you look for ancestor building, they've been building palaces, they've been building castles, they've been building so many things. And now all coming like ancients. You go and you look, oh here there were some people here. There been some somebody living here. Where they are? Not existing anymore. But the sun is there maybe million years, maybe billion years, we never know, maybe hundred thousand years. Who can live for one thousand years? Nobody. It's not allowed. You maximize as hundred years. More than this cannot be. Even your hundred years, you lost the flavor of living. If you are a hundred years old man, you cannot run, you cannot speak properly, you cannot use your hand properly, you cannot use your mind properly, you cannot eat properly, and people say, oh, this very old man, we don't want him in our table even. Very old man, nobody like him to be in his table, to eat with him. Yo, this is your father, this is your grandfather, it's okay, but you know, keep it. He coughing too much. <laughs> he eat not properly. He eat no. We want to eat and enjoy. Yahoo, he's your grandfather. He is your father. No, no, no. Put him beside. Let him eat alone. Hundred years man eating alone. Yani, even your hundred years, it doesn't give any value. We have to understand. The value what Allah Almighty give us. That's why we want to be with you, Ya Rasulullah. We want to be next to you, Ya Rasulullah. We want to be in your presence, Ya Rasulullah. Because you are forever. They are not. Shaitan, he thinks that he is forever. But no. He is forever to put Bani Adam in Jahannam and in the trouble in front of Allah Almighty. <coughs> this is his swearing to Allah Almighty. Ya Rabbi. I will be promising to take all this Bani Adam for Jahannam with me because you make mistake by creating Adam salam. This is how Shaitan it is very arrogant with Allah Almighty. Say, Allah Almighty never be mistake, Hasha. Allah Almighty, He is all the time right. Allah Almighty is all the time doing right. No mistake with Allah Almighty. Mistake is with us. We are the one making mistake. And when we are making mistake, Allah Almighty make the tawbah door open. Say, oh my servant, I make the tawbah door open for you to come and make tawbah istighfar. That's very important. Ya Rabbi, we are in mistake, but we are having hope of the door of tawbah. As long as the door of Tawbah open, we, as long as we have hope that we come back. That's why Allah Almighty He say, the Tawbah door is open from east to west, so wide. 
Anytime you come, you are welcome. This is how Allah Almighty is merciful for Bani Adam. But today Bani Adam, they are, I can say they are headless. I can say they are stupid. I can say they are foolish. I can say they are the most ignorant. I can say they are the most proud. I, I can say so many things about today Bani Adam. If somebody is giving you something for free, you start to question why you give this for free. Ya Allah Almighty, He give you oxygen for free. Allah Almighty, He give you water for free. Allah Almighty, He give you food for free. He give you everything for free. You look, everything is for free. Only <laughs> Bani Adam, He make... He like to make calculation and put price on it. Oh, oxygen is this price. Water is this price. Apple is this price. Bread is this price. We are the one giving the pricing. Not Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty give everything for free. He give you the animal. You look for, for the sheep, for example. For the lamb. You, you look for the sheep. Allah Almighty, He created the sheep by its own. It's only eating grass and giving you food. Giving you milk, giving you meat. And you think, this is for money? No, Allah Almighty, He created, already is there. But Bani Adam, He liked to price. Oh, no, oh, we make this profit, we make that profit. Yo, you are very clever to make this profit, but you don't make any effort and thinking to get some profit for Akhirah, for your next life. But nobody leaving, believing in next life. Some people say, if I die, you throw me for dog to eat me. Now, it's a, in the West say, oh, we put and burn them. It is easier. The dog will be suffering by eating. So we, we burn them. Eh? Burn them. Jahannam start from here. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi la ilaha azim. They say somebody that was having some window to look for the one that they burn, and then they see that the one coming to be burned, he stand up, and they say, no, he's still alive, we burn him alive. And then they, they cancel this window. And that was, of course, it is the processing of Ankar Wanakir, because everybody have when he is dead, either he buried or he burned, he will have the processing of these two angels and come and question him. Telling him, who is your Lord? If you say Allah Almighty, you get one pass one. Who is your prophet? If you say Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you pass two. If you say, who is your religion? Say Islam, you pass three. And then, after that you have the other question. But these three questions very important. Everybody will be asked. Some people say, we don't know, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I don't, Allah Almighty will say, no, no excuse. Everybody is knowing everything. Especially today. All the knowledge, it's in our hand. Before, it was not in our hand, but today it's in our hand. We are knowing everything. We know, we know, we know. We cannot deny, say, Ya Rabbi, I didn't know, nobody tell me. Who doesn't know Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? All the world knows Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. There's this big issue. Who doesn't know Islam? All the world know Islam. If you say no, we don't know Islam. Why are you an enemy for Islam? Why are you an enemy for Islam? Why are you an enemy for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? If you don't know, why you put him as enemy? Somebody coming... And giving you good manner, good attitude, good things. And you say, oh, we have to be enemy for him. Give a reason. If you are enemy for somebody, at least that somebody, he, maybe he take your money, or maybe he cheated you, or maybe he been hitting you, or maybe he was... Attacking you, then become your enemy. 
said it's reason to be enemy. But this, Allah Almighty, He say, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We send you as mercy for all the nations. He didn't say, Ya Rasulullah, I send you mercy for Arab nation because your origin is coming from Arab tribe. No. Allah Almighty is saying, I don't care about tribe. I don't care about nationalities. I care about something is called taqwa. That's mean believe. When you believe it is with Allah Almighty and Rasulullah is strong, you are the one that go ahead to Allah Almighty. You will be favorite. You will be one of that good one. He doesn't look for you. You are white, black, yellow, uh, green or blue or whatever color you are. No, he look for your heart. Say, the heart is very important here. If you are coming to me, that means with your taqwa, that means with your belief, is very important. That's why we are asking from Allah Almighty to make us from those people that they have taqwa and they have belief to Allah Almighty and love to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to be with Awliyaullah, the saint of Allah and the Salihin. Wa min Allah tawfiq, bi hurmati al-Habib, bi hurmati al-Fatiha.